Morning, Max. Morning. Thank you very much for sparing us some time. Um, are you enjoying this season more than the last couple? Yeah, very much so. I think um, the full time very enjoyable, hard but really good graft. And um, I think obviously you see where we are in the league, we're doing a little bit better, but plenty of improvement to come as well. Uh, one seven, lost seven, so it's been like completely 50 50 down the middle. So nice improvement from last season, but also lots of lots of things to improve on this season as well. What's the best bit about being full time? Uh, I think just being on the training ground much longer. I know the manager enjoys that more, more things to work on. Um, yeah, it's just like anything, the more hours you put in, the better you get, I think, and the closer you get as a team. So I definitely think seeing them, the boys every day. Uh, we come definitely closer as a group um, and obviously working on your individual game for myself as well it's more hours like I said you, you, you're going to get better so I think for me personally the fitness thing has been the best thing really um, I think I'm feeling fitter than ever I've done and um, you certainly look very lean yeah, well I've always been quite skinny and lean but um, no obviously the data we get obviously yeah. with the GPS um, I'm, all, I'm, I'm probably top every single time or or up there, so yeah, really feeling good in midfield and just trying to run around and press press teams. And you know, I think hopefully it's been showing in the games this season. Yeah, uh, we'll come back to the GPS in a minute if if that's okay. You mentioned the sort of group aspect and group dynamic of full time training. There's two parts to that, isn't there? There's the sort of camaraderie within the dressing room, but there's also the knowing each other's games. Yeah. Which do you think is the most important out of those two? That's a great question, Dave. Um, I think, oh, no, I can't. I, I definitely think the camaraderie is massively important. Yeah, I'd yeah. say just that over the game. But you're right to pick up the other one because, like you said, we're training double the amount of time we used to last season. So you do pick up and get relationships with players. But I'm like, I'm a social person, so I'll go for the uh, the off the field stuff or you know being around each other every day. The camaraderies and we're you know we're definitely tight as a group. Good, good. Um, yeah, coming back to the GPS vest, it's reported that on Saturday you ran for a total of 13k yeah. during the game. We, and we see the stats on TV, match the day and so on, and it, it averages around 9 or 10 kilometers, yeah. so you're a third more than that. Yeah, I think, I, I, did, like, I was talking to Clarky about it, I didn't feel like I ran that much in the game, but from what Christian and the guys were saying from the side, it, it looked like I did, but um, yeah, I'd definitely be more tired in other games and not covered as much distance, but yeah, no, it's a big part of my game. Uh, the manager wants me to get the team pressing in that position behind the front too, so it's important to run around a lot and talk a lot as well in that midfield. So, yeah, I don't know how, but yeah, it was. I really enjoyed the game. It was a bit of a scrappy game, but it was one one of those games that we haven't been we haven't been winning those scrappy games this season. So it's quite more satisfying to you know go away from home and get a clean sheet and win ugly in a way. The the thing that I've noticed, I mean, apart from the fact that you you. I hope you won't mind me saying, simply playing better this season, taking more opportunities, involved in the game more, covering more ground. The thing that's impressed me most about not just yourself, but um, Inny and Tav particularly, is the pressing yeah. from the front. It's been amazing. And you, and, and you, you do the, the thing that they always talk about on the telly, which is not trying to do it every time mm. for 90 minutes because you'd be dead. But when one does it, everyone does it. That's the thing, and it's a hard thing to coordinate sometimes. Yeah, but yeah, I, I think the rule of thumb that I kind of use with the boys is that every, you know, the first ten minutes of either half, we're going to do it, and we're going to go all the way. But um, it, like, it's it's impossible to do for ninety minutes. So it does fall um, upon the senior players or the players in those positions who are going to press to kind of sort that out. And me and Innie do have a good relationship with that kind of thing because he likes pressing and shouting and hounding defenders. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's picking up on each other's cues mid-game and you might go, OK, no, we're going to chill. So we, we, we chill for five minutes, we get behind the ball and we did against Notts County, Chesterfield, Dagenham at home. There was, there was two different sides of the game, getting after them early and then getting behind the ball and hitting them on the counter-attack. And, you know, we've done it well in a few games. And uh, looking forward to doing the same again on Saturday against another big-name opponent. Yeah, of course. I mean, I look at the fixtures all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you think, oh, this is not an easy one. Yeah. This one's not an easy one. Yeah. Old Southend, Old Grimsby, they've come down. Old Chesterfield, Dagenham, all these in a row. So, yeah, it's full on. The National League is, I think, the strongest it's ever been, in my opinion. Um, there's so many full-time clubs. There's a lot of money coming into the league. So, yeah, no, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a tough game. Stockport right up there with, you know, prestige-wise and and financially. So, yeah, um, we had two really tough games against them last season. 
at home and away. So we've got a draw up there, though. We've got a draw somehow. Yeah, they absolutely battered <laughs> us up there, but we've got a draw. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting. Um, but we just got to throw three or four, five or six um, consistent games together, I, and I, it can, this league table can change really quickly. Absolutely. Sorry to interrupt. That's exactly what I was just going to say to finish off. It's it's the consistency aspect because when we played Grimsby, they beat us one 0 top of the league, looking like they were you know they almost had it wrapped up. Yeah, that's a ridiculous exaggeration of a way. And then they lost. And, to and then they the lost four in a row, and they lost at Aldershot, who'd, who'd lost ten games in a row. Yeah, it's crazy, and that's that league in a nutshell, really. Um, yeah. anyone can beat anyone. And I, but I look at our performances this season. We, we've had a terrible game in one game against the Oval away. And in every other game, I think, honestly, I think the performances have been there. Um, whether that's for 45 minutes for an hour, um, it's about putting 90 minutes together. But um, I was a lot more worried last season when we were playing poorly and looking around going, God, I don't know where we're going to score from. And obviously, six um, circumstances forced that a little bit. But this season, if I look at the base performance of most of the games, we've been very good. So it's about a bit like Saturday, when we're not unbelievable, can we win or draw away from home? And you know when we're a little bit below par, it's about turning those zero points into one and three points, and you know that's what we're looking to do really. And last of all, you're in the goals again. Yeah. Have you scored more this season so far than you did last uh, in the whole season? Probably. Oh no, I scored ten last season. Right. Um, got five already this season. Obviously, oh, okay. Tav's far far out in front. Right. But you know that's that's an aspect of our team. We've got goals in quite a lot of different positions, and you know from the strikers as well which you, you want the strikers yeah. doing that because they, they, they feed off them and feed off that confidence so um, yeah I'm happy with the way I'm playing um, creating goals as well so um, and I missed a couple on Saturday as well which has been bugging me all weekend <laughs> so um, I prefer to, me to be missing chances than not getting them and I think last season I wasn't really getting too many so definitely a more positive place to be in this season definitely Brilliant well we're loving how you're playing and uh, look forward to much more of it Cheers thank you Please remember to like and subscribe to Woking Football Club.